Hi everyone, I'm Hei Hyun Jo at Arizona State University. In this talk, I'm going to present how we can effectively fuzzing binding code of JavaScript engines with Favocado. The use of JavaScript has expanded beyond web browsers into the entire computing ecosystem. Now it is used as a general purpose programming language. And a lot of commercial software contain JavaScript engines. Naturally, JavaScript engines are being heavily studied, buzzed, and hardened because vulnerabilities in JavaScript engines can be a critical security issue. However, the binding code area of JavaScript engines has not been extensively explored yet in the context of fuzzing. Binding code is a native component of JavaScript engines that enables the extensive use of JavaScript. It translates data representations by creating and mapping necessary data types between JavaScript and native code. Because of the complexity in the implementation of binding layers, um, unfortunately, vulnerabilities aren't rare. Therefore, there is a pressing need to design JavaScript forgers to effectively find the bugs in the binding code. A couple of forgers, such as the Mato, have been used for fuzzing DOM objects of web browsers. The Mato revealed some severe vulnerabilities, but it relies on manual development of a grammar file to generate test cases. Therefore, the Mato cannot avoid huge manual efforts for fuzzing each binding code. Also, even with the grammar file, the Mato lacks the ability to generate semantically correct test cases. For fuzzing binding code, we should generate and execute syntactically and semantically correct test cases. This is because bugs in binding code can only be discovered by executing a series of JavaScript statements. The given example shows that a typical JavaScript test case involves at least two steps, creating an object and setting a property or calling a function of the object. If a test case contains a semantically incorrect statement, the test case has to stop executing and retire. As such, invalid statements seriously impede the progress of fuzzing. Also, we need to deal with the huge input space of binding code because the large input space hinders the effectiveness of fuzzing. In this work, our goal is to design a general and effective binding code forger. Let's first take a look at the overview of Favocado. First, Favocado takes the interface definition language files or API references as input to parse the semantic information of binding code. Next, it constructs semantic information of targeted binding code to generate valid JavaScript statements. Lastly, it starts fuzzing binding code on a target system by using syntactically and semantically correct test cases. Favocado relies on the semantic information extracted from either the IDL files or JavaScript API references. Specifically, Favocado parses names, method, and properties of binding object with the type information of them. This is an example of extracted semantic information. Such detailed semantic information is directly used to generate a test case while fuzzing. Um, before fuzzing, Favocado also finds binding objects related to each other by using the type information. If 
an object is used as an argument of a method, return type, or a type of a property in another object. Favocado records them so that they can be fused together. An example of a related binding object is shown in the slide. The image capture object is a related blob, image bitmap, media stream track, and photo capabilities object because these objects are written types of the image capture objects methods. When Fabocado generates a test case generator, it first randomly selects binding objects based on the relationship analysis lizard. Because fuzzing all combinations of all binding objects is simply invisible. In this way, the size of the input space can be significantly reduced. Then it generates and executes a test case generator. The test case generator is a JavaScript file that runs inside the target system. The test case generator executes at, as illustrated in the slide. It first initializes all binding objects that are going to be fused. After this initialization process, it goes into the while loop where it starts generating and executing JavaScript statements for fuzzing targeted binding objects. Um, the test case generator includes statement formats and uh, uh, semantic information of binding objects. Also, for providing context information of a fuzzing process, there is a list of allocated variables. This data structure holds information on available variable names with their types. When Fabocado generates a JavaScript statement, it randomly selects a statement format from the list shown in the slide. Our statement formats contain basic forms to use binding objects and basic forms to use prototype objects. Also, Fabocado can generate iterative statements, arrays, and functions. Once a format is selected, Fabocado completes the format by using the semantic and the context information. For example, when um, this format is selected, Fabocado randomly picks a binding object and checks whether the object is available based on the extracted semantic information and the context information. After that, Fabocato selects a method and its arguments as well. Basically, Fabocato sets proper values for arguments, but it randomly sets incorrect types to find, uh, for example, type confusion bugs in binding code. This principle also applies to when Fabocato uses the other statement formats. In addition, Fabocado tests the other types of bugs by intentionally setting incorrect values, such as um, values that go beyond the possible range. We evaluated Fabocado against four different binding code of four JavaScript runtime systems, Adobe Acrobat Reader, Foxleader, Chromium, and WebKit. Our four targets are currently used by a very large number of users, and they have been thoroughly tested by security analysts. So we believe that the number of previously unknown and distinct bugs found by Fabocado can represent the effectiveness of its bug finding ability. Um, the Adobe Acrobat Reader and the Foxin Reader are closed source applications, so um, we parsed the semantic information from the API references. On the other hand, Chromium and 
The WebKit are open source programs. Therefore, we directly parsed um, the semantic information from the IDEA files. In the evaluation, we used the most recent version of target systems. So all bugs found by Fabocado were previously unknown ones. Therefore, to prevent overcounting distinct bugs, we manually analyzed all the crashes that occurred while fuzzing target programs. Our evaluation result clearly demonstrates that Fabocado can play an important role to find the bugs in binding code of various JavaScript runtime systems. In total, we found 62 new and distinct bugs from four JavaScript runtime systems within short fuzzing campaigns from just three days to two weeks for each target. Let's check a real world vulnerability discovered by Fabocado. This case um, illustrates that how Fabocado finds vulnerabilities in binding code. This minimized JavaScript snippet can trigger a user after bug using PDF binding object. Um, in the code, uh, Fabocado first defines an object X, then it assigns a function to the two string method of the X object. Inside the function, the flatten pages API is called with an argument zero. This API call enforces all field objects on page zero of a PDF file will be deallocated. After calling the API, the custom to string function returns a string center. Avocado knows that to string should return a string type. On line six, Favocado allocates a new text field object. And on line seven, Favocado assigns the object X to the alignment property of the text field object. At this point, the JavaScript engine calls the to string method of the X object which was customized by the Favocado to cast the type of X to a string type object because the alignment property is a string type. In the meantime, the text field object ha has been deallocated because of the flat flatten pages API. Therefore, when the JavaScript engine assigns the return value of the customized to string function or use at the free error of course. This case clearly demonstrates the effectiveness of semantically correct JavaScript statements that Favocado generates. Also, um, to demonstrate the effectiveness of the Favocado, we compared it with Domato. For Domato, we implemented a grammar file for PDF binding objects. Especially, we constructed the grammar file only for the field and dope object. Also, for making a fair comparison, we led Favocado to fuzzing for the same binding objects. Domato discovered one user after free vulnerability, while Favocado discovered six distinct bugs, including the one found by Domato. Furthermore, we checked the error rate of test cases that Domato generated. Um, around 34% of test cases caused the runtime errors while um, around 9% of test cases generated by Favocado caused the runtime errors. In this work, we proposed Favocado for fuzzing binding code with the semantically correct test cases and demonstrate the effectiveness of it. Please refer to our paper for full details and discussions on limitations. Thank you.